Okay, so I'm gonna speak up a little loud because I don't have my mic on. A little Monday rant, you know, I, I was kind of just, I just feel like I'm, I'm compelled to uh, talk about this. I got the headset on. Um, I'm actually waiting for a phone call from one of my vendors to tell them about a job. So <clears throat> this week, last week, this is the beginning of the new week, it's Monday. Last week was just an absolute nightmare it felt like it was so stressful last week I, I cannot even ex explain with the job and the light system and the complexity of it and wiring and schematics and and trying to make everything marry together so as a business owner it's like today right I spent Saturday was upwards of like 80% humidity and I think we were almost about 100 degrees index um, or 100 degrees, no, it's 90 some degrees. But anyways, it was like 100 degrees plus 80% humidity. It was miserable. I would literally go out for sometimes about 20 to 30 minutes and work on the old service van here, Big Red. And I'd have to go back inside and I'd have to sit down for about, you know, 15 to 20 minutes just to cool off. And I mean, the AC was just cranked at the house and I'd have a, a box fan sitting at the end of my bed while I laid there and then try to do stuff on my phone. It was miserable, absolutely miserable. I was literally walking around in my underwear. That's not a pretty picture. I was walking outside in my underwear and I would take a dip in the pool once in a while because it was that miserable. But what I'm trying to get at is that, so Saturday, you know, as an owner, I'm already working, right? I pretty much worked all day to clean this van out thoroughly. Sweep it, clean it, get any of the funny smells, empty the garbage, put all the little nuts and bolts and tools and just everything away. So it's just ready to go like a fire engine at the fire department. And I didn't think today was gonna be like today. Today is just turning into, it's just turning into a hand basket. I thought I had everything kind of planned out. I thought I was gonna have it easy. Well, guess what? The customer calls about the light situation I got going. I got a video on it. It's the switch where it turns light on on the other side of the, the dune and stuff. It's coming out. But, so I got that. And then I also have, um, now I got a meeting that popped up out of nowhere. I got a meeting with the township for this, this gate. I need to go finish up one little piece of fabric on it. Oh, and then we have, you know, the secretary's looking for somebody to go at least an hour north. It just ain't gonna happen. I'm trying to get her to get with somebody else to sub it out. Um, the, this customer, now I think of it, now I think of it, this customer has not been a good customer. This customer has never been very loyal. This customer has never paid their bill in a timely manner. And the thing is, there's like no reason or there's no rhyme or reason with it. That's the problem. It's not like they never got the bill. It's just, you know, I remember going in and sitting down with the guy, the maintenance guy, and he had like two like apprentice people there. And it's like, what are they doing here? Why are they not out doing stuff? Like they just kind of, they feel like they have that vibe to them that they gang up, right? And then they act like, what, you can't get here today? And it's like, no, you're at least an hour and some minutes away from our shop. We can't just drop what we're doing. And the thing is, is what gets me is like, they haven't used this in a long time. And then also now it's like, we're back on the hook. I don't know, something smells suspicious with that. I just don't get excited about that stuff anymore. I'm not jumping, you know, and then charge us the normal service call, which could happen. I'm not saying it's going to, but it just could happen. It could get, it could get lost in the system. The hours might not get counted up correctly. We got too many good paying jobs right now that are close to home, that are in the thousands of dollars versus a hundred dollars or 200 or 300. I don't, I just, just blows my mind. Anyways, I just wanted to say hi today. A little Monday rant that, you know, you think you want to do a garage door business, you know, and I'm telling you, if it was me, I'd get into something that's passive. I'd get into something else. I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even consider it because it's like a vortex. Once you get sucked in, it's like it's always in your blood, man. I remember this guy telling me one time, I, I seen a truck driver in a parking lot. I was, I was cutting the grass there when I was a young kid. And I, I, you know, I was all excited. I was like, how's it like being a truck driver, you know? And he's like, man, he tells you, he goes, I'll tell you what, he goes, once it's in your blood, it's always in your blood. And I hear this from other garage door guys that are retired now that work at shops because their shoulders are all blown out, their elbows and stuff. And they work themselves to death. And, and they, they just basically just go, I still got my family, my friends, they're all asking me to do garage doors. 
you know I got my uncle that called me last night and uh, they they shut the garage door he's down in Florida they shut the garage door on something and now it won't go down like it stays up a couple inches and I'm just like I don't know he's like well I know it's too far for a service call but you know is there any and I'm like I, I don't know I was like you know luckily he's got my cousin there he knows he knows what to do he's a pretty smart kid so he, he can figure it out but it's just still the fact of the matter is is it's like you're always being sucked into it and it gets it gets to be old honestly it really does um, it, it's hard to believe it when you're first starting out because you're all excited and you think you're making all this money and eventually you're gonna hit a threshold that you're gonna go crap there's a threshold you know like it's it's like Robert Kiyosaki talks about you know vehicles and that vehicle you know will only go so fast until you get into the Ferrari or whatever you need you know so it's it's very challenging very challenging and then it's like you get people that just keep sucking off you that you know they they keep wanting you to do this or do that and it's like look I, I can't do it for the same price I have I have to increase my prices because I have employees and they want raises and they want better things they want new computers or phones or apparel or vehicles or material prices are going up all these things all these variables all these variables so anyways I hope that encourages you if you're thinking about getting into the garage door business don't <laughs> Buy something else. Get into real estate. Nah, it's been good. You know, it's a good ride. It's just, it's, it's, you gotta, I just, I, I want the future generation to understand what they're getting into. Because normally once you start a trend, I got a buddy of mine that his kid was working for us. He doesn't work for us anymore. He needed to learn from some other people that, you know, you gotta show up and you get fired. He needed to get fired a few times. Let's just say that. And he's doing concrete. He went to do some college. The college stuff didn't work out. Now he's back home again. And he's doing concrete, man. And I tell you, you gotta watch that. You get into that stuff, you're gonna get sucked into that. And that's gonna be your life. You're gonna eventually find a niche, and then you, you know, you might do your own, or you're gonna keep working for somebody. And man, that's you gotta understand. It's just like an athlete. You know, you want to be an athlete, but it tears your body up. You gotta watch that stuff. And you know, it says in the Bible, you know, your 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 body's your temple. You know, and you gotta take care of it, man. Think about it this way. I, I remember hearing it this way. Think about if you only got one car in your life that's it you here's a car brand new car this is your only your one car that you get period right think about it that way you would take really good care of that car wouldn't you you'd wash it you'd wax it you put the best oil in it you'd make sure it gets the best gasoline you do all the maintenance that you could on it you know you would take care of that thing well you need to think about your body that way too you really do you gotta you gotta be uh thinking smarter you gotta be thinking about long term you gotta think about the future so i laugh because a guy I know I tried to explain this to me he used to work for me and he's a, he's he's just a knucklehead and you know now he does his own thing and it's like why did you why do you do that like I mean I could have taught you so much better not to and it was it's just silly because and um, it was just silly just don't even you know and he and he's smarter than that but he just he just I don't know I guess I don't know I don't get it whatever <laughs> anyways I got to get to this job I got to get it knocked out before one o'clock it's ten I got a couple hours, I gotta get this thing banged out. And then I gotta run back up north for another job. Oh my goodness, it's gonna be one of those days. All right guys, take care, peace out.